The women in our group determined that there was a need to do a chainsaw course, that there were women who feared for their life during the fire when they were exiting with their kids. How are they going to get out if there was a tree over the road? When it came to fire preparation, they were probably the ones that needed to be cutting down the trees and they just didn't have the skill set. These women now are empowered. The exchange of information and friendships that these women form, they just had the best time. And that knowledge and empowerment alleviates some of that depression. You know, the 70 year old's eager to go down and help her 80 year old neighbour. The women with the kids knows that she can get a tree out of the road. She doesn't have to depend on her husband. Because I'm empowered, I'm confident, I know what I'm doing. It's really important to have a, a raft of, I guess, wellbeing support that people can connect with in different ways, like a social and emotional wellbeing, as well as clinical services are really important. Not only is that a very strong predictor of improved wellbeing, but I find that it also helps to remind people that they're all in it together. Which is what the Women in Ag group is all about, just connecting those women to each other and finding out that they have so much in common. They talk to each other all the time now and it was really something they needed to get together, get out of their heads, learn a skill. And I think there's no better way to get out of your head than getting on the chainsaw. I mean, how empowering is that?